I want to throw some stickers on this. I was actually going to do something different with this, but I'm just going to throw some stickers. All right, let me clean up my, this bench here and we'll get to it. Check this out. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at the quality here, man. Mm -hmm. This is what you call a real receiver box, kid. I might get one of these for my Primal Dragster. You know? All right, so look at this, man. Look at this beautiful thing here. This holds your, your antenna. Here's the antenna that they give you. All right, so we're gonna mount this on. Yeah, take this out. All right, all buttoned up. Got my dielectric grease in my receiver. There it is, this is what I used from Permatex. Yes, I will be Loctiting my hardware that pulls this beautiful lid down. All right, people, I'm gonna throw on my wheels for the very first time. Man, it's gonna be a beast. I don't think it's gonna fit in this table. Uh, do not forget, these wheels are directional. Right, if you want best traction, you want these these fangs here to cut in, cut into the dirt and stuff. You want them, they're like arrows. Think of it like arrows, arrows facing forward. All right. And so, this one here, boom. In the front, you don't want to put them, like you don't want to put this here, in the front here, or in the back. Because it would be a reverse, see how that? See how it is? All right, I'm going like this. All right, damn, look at this thing. Martina, you ready? Bring that wheel over here. Here we go. Yeah, put that other one on the other side. Get it in that hub. Line it up good, best you can. All right, babe. Um, we gotta peel all this off. Is it even peel it as best you can. Look at that. Grab that side yeah. there. Yeah. How do I do it? Easy, Ooh. easy, easy. Pull out. It. Wow, look at that beautiful uh, red. All right. Ah. Ah. Okay, pull it out. Don't touch the body with your hands. Is better. Good job. You can peel this out better. Go. Got I think they're all the same size, so we're good. We can put them all together. Fix this. Good job, babe. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna leave these two in the back, mounted still. We got a bunch of these here. Look at that. Oh, there's still some. That's right. When we take that out later, I'm gonna keep that mounted there because I want to put the. The long side sticker on. Let me see those the primal ones. Let me put it over there. Th those are gonna be the ones I have to. I want to put them all over. There he is. There he is. Ha ha ha, Zeneca. Look, you brought the beast down here, babe. All right, we're gonna be ready for the sticker now. I wound up putting some painters tape here, just holding these two bodies together. These two pieces. And then I'll do my best to pull it back out afterwards. And then on both sides, I'm gonna just line up your hole good here. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that big long sticker even right over this seam here. All right, All right let's get the sticker up. Come on, Martina, grab that end. Right. We're gonna use this, we're gonna go flush with the bottom here, all right? 
I'm going to put this oh, bottom this here. Means? It means level, straight. That I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peel it out and just go for it. I'm not going to put no... You know, you guys could do a, a nicer job than me. Uh, you know, you could spray this down. You can move it around and stuff. Me, I'm just going to throw it on there. I, I don't... Think it's the other side. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna Definitely go not with. Right. I think I'm gonna go with this. Wait, I'm gonna try to put. It's not gonna work. That doesn't fit. Stop being negative. I think I'm gonna go with this here, like this. Put your hand in the bottom there. No, no. Get your hand. Go underneath my hand. Uh, Oh, no, not yet. You hold this, you hold this. You got that, yeah. Pull to you. Okay. Pull. Go level with this. I'm gonna go flush with this. All right, people. Over here, still at it. I just trimmed out the windows, I trimmed this out, and I cut this off right here because I want to reshape it. I just couldn't do it before. See those exhaust pipes, these headers, open headers? I wanted to have it higher. All right, so yeah, these stickers were a pain in the balls. I'm still cleaning them up. Yeah, we're getting there. All right, we're getting there. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I've been using the eight, number eight torque, All right, clutch. If you guys have one of these Milwaukee's. All right, it's been all right. That's it, still got, still got a lot to go, so. All right, I just started. All right, people, finished, kid. It's late, but we did it. 1.34 a.m. <laughs> Still at it over here. But, so, I was gonna put a nice Primal RC sticker here, but I wound up putting the word heavy duty Primal RC. Heavy duty Primal RC. I wound up putting the goat, the ram, head on my hood. I put the grills, did the lights, the best I could. This here, I did the best I could. It's not, not the greatest at all, but it's good enough. Um, I wanted a huge Primal RC sticker right on my windshield, but I think this size would have looked better. That might be too big too wide but i just wanted something big and primal rc badass right on that i don't even, i don't even want my name on the windshield i want primal rc's name on the windshield you know what i'm saying look at that beautiful i still may put some more stuff around here but the more i run it and bash it then i have to wash it it's probably gonna come off the aluminum and stuff in the future but she's looking good man I wish it was a Chevy Silverado body or a GMC, but now I think these are much more heavy duty. These beadlocks that are here, very nice. It feels like really good quality plastic right here. Yeah, but I like this chrome, so I think I'm gonna put this chrome ring here. I can always change it in the future, but I wanna put this chrome ring, and this is from Roven. There's the part number. I also have stainless hardware if I wanted to use up here from full force beautiful stainless hardware even just this hardware with that with the black beadlock would look nice it would look like rivets on the beadlock you know but uh, I want to put these chrome rings on and and that's it I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna reuse the black screws yes the Stainless will look better. You know what? 
I think the stainless screws and that and the black V-locks would look really nice. It would look like a bunch of rivets here would pop out. You know that? Probably would look badass. But that's something we can always do in the future. So, yeah, I want to pop these chrome rings in. Very nice beadlock. Very nice. Heavy duty shit. Yeah. Right here. No joke. It's much stronger than these chrome ones I'm going to put, but I like these chrome ones. It's going to look beautiful. Yeah, let's do that. All right, again, if you guys have a drill like this, I'm using number five. Five clutch setting. All right? See that? Everything I do, I show you and I prove to you. All right? And it's got a nice seal. And it, and it does not strip. All right. Here's a, here's a look of both. What do you guys think? Keep it all black or the chrome? I, I like the chrome ring. I like the chrome ring. I'm going to change that hub nut as well, but another time. These are really nice bead locks. I'm not kidding. Really nice. Much better than these chrome ones, but I just like these chrome ones. All right, people. All good. Got the chrome bead locks on. I may change them back. Hopefully they, they hold up a bit. These here are serious right here. And they hold the tire better. They hold the tire a little better. But let's see what happens. I like this. I like, it. I like the way it looks. And that's it, so. My brat brother, Jeff, Eastside RC, also liked the chrome beadlock. When we were at Primal, man, we noticed that we were like, wow, that thing's sweet. So let's see what happens. All right, people. Next thing we do is fire this sucker up. All right, so before I pull on this, I'm gonna put some spray silicone down the pull start. I'm gonna spray silicone the rope that I, I can see from here. Everything, mechanism, all that. But before we do that, I'm gonna throw a little oil in that cylinder. I'm probably gonna do like some mixed uh, two-stroke oil in there, a couple of squirts of two-stroke oil in, in the cylinder, or I may just put some 301 in there, call it a day. Just rotate the piston a bit, let the piston ring saturate a little bit. I always do that. Anyways, uh, tomorrow's another day. Actually, it is tomorrow. It's 2 a.m. now. So, good morning. But I gotta get my ass to sleep. I need rest. All right, stay tuned. Look what you got me doing now, Jeff. In Jesus' name, we're gonna try to attempt this. Just like what you tried, you did. Damn, Jeff, a hundreds kit? I got a little issue here. Something's going off my shoulder, but we're gonna still try it. Maybe later. 